Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll be showing you how to collaborate your images using Camera Raw Filter. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And also turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. So to open your camera raw filter, you have to go to filter, select camera raw filter and allow the camera raw filter to open. So once it has opened, I want to start doing some kind of color adjustments to my image. I want to reduce the temperature a bit. So I'm just going to reduce the temperature to be around minus 10. You can also increase the temperature if you like. Or you can reduce the temperature if you like so i'm just going to leave it to minus nine and the tint i'm just going to increase the tint to be plus six let's leave it to be plus six now the next thing i want to do is the vibrance i want to adjust the vibrance so for this vibrance i will leave it to be 30 you can see so now the next thing i'm just going to do is to head to color grading you can see color grading under our camera row filter and before i start editing this photo i want to share with you a great way to improve your skills i've always wanted to learn how to edit photos with lightroom and i found a fantastic resource that helps a lot skillshare is an amazing online community where you can learn from experts in many creative fields and they have thousands of classes on things like photography photo editing graphic designs and more they also have something called learning paths which helps you master a specific skill by taking a series of classes. So if you want to improve your skills or try something new, I recommend you check out Skillshare by clicking the link in the description of this video to join the platform. And the first 500 people to use my link in the description of this video will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. And I want to say a very big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You can see that here you can color grade the mid tune, you can color grade the shadows, you can color grade the highlights. So the mid tune is everything in between. Let me say everything in between the highlights and the shadows. So the highlight is the light part of the image while the shadows is the dark part of the image. Let's adjust it a little. So we have to click on the shadows first. This is the shadows. This is the dark part of the image. You can adjust the luminance. Look at the luminance. You can adjust it. You can adjust the blending. If you want to color grade the shadows, let's color grade the shadows to be red and orange. Look at the shadows. The dark part of our image now has changed. This is the before, this is the after. You can see that we have added this kind of colors to our shadows. So let's leave the blending to be around 55. You can balance it also. Look at what's happening. Increasing the balance to 4. So once you are done with the shadows, you can click on your mid tune. For this mid tune, is in between let me say in between the shadows and the highlights in between the dark and the light let's make it a little bit red i think red is better or let me say light yellow or orange in between red orange and pink look at the area this is where i select the mid tune you can also adjust it like this you can move the color grading and you will see what's happening on your images when you try to move this thing around the color grading section. Look at what's happening. You can see. And let's move it to this area. So I'm just going to leave it to this area for the mid tune. So the next one is our highlights. So to edit the highlights, I'm just going to make the highlights to be blue. And look at what has happened on our image. This is before and this after our editing. You can see the color grading of our image has changed. Let's click on this area. This is global. This global means everything. You want to color grade everything at once. For the highlights, I make it to be blue. And if I increase the blue, you see what's happening. The highlight, the image looks blue. This area looks blue. You can see. Once you are done color grading your image, you can click OK and allow the effect to load on your image. And as you can see, that's how you can color grade your image using camera raw filter. That's how you can use camera raw filter to color grade your image. So if you want to add a little bit of colors to your image, you can go to this area, create new adjustments layer, select selective color. So once you select that selective color, we want to click on cyan, C-Y-A-N. We want to increase the color of this area so I'm just going to increase the black for the 
cyan because we want to make this light blue area to look more dark we don't want it to look light so if i'm done i'm just going to add a little bit of vibrance if you like this vibrance you can add a little bit of vibrance let me just merge everything together this is the before and this is the after you can see that the highlights of our image looks blue and you can see that all the settings of our color grading has applied on our image so that's how you can use to color grade your image and if you want to color grade your image just visit filter select camera raw filter and move to color grading and you'll be able to color grade your images and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out